I'm Emeron Meyer. I'm directing the Oppenheimer Center for Neurobiology of Stress and Resilience at UCLA, where I have been a professor of medicine and psychiatry for the last uh, 25 years. I have a career-long interest in studying the interactions of the brain and the gut um, over the last 35 years or so, and have recently developed a particular interest in the role of the gut microbes in this dialogue. I found it fascinating from the beginning of my studies the close interactions between the mind, our emotions, and gut sensations, gut feelings. Um, and this interest has been, has gotten a renewed um, boost since we've identified that the microbes may play a particularly important role in mediating, mediating the influence of diet, what we eat um, on this brain-gut interaction. Sensations of having a knot in the stomach, having butterflies in the stomach, uh, when we're nervous, when we're angry, um, has experienced the rumblings that go on if you're in a state of uh, anxiety. And Western medicine has never really come up with a good explanation, as opposed to traditional medicine um, in, in the Ayurvedic tradition, in the traditional Chinese tradition, um, Hippocratic medicine of the ancient Greeks. What is happening today is we're seeing a paradigm shift in our understanding. In some ways, we're going backwards to the philosophy of ancient healing traditions. Um, nowadays, we don't call this holistic, but we call it systems-based. We call it ecology-based thinking. In my opinion, there's no question that in the next decade, we will see a revolutionary change in our understanding of complex interactions in particularly of the mind-gut-brain interaction. What I've tried to do in the mind-gut connection is give practical advices um, based on our current cutting-edge knowledge of science of the brain, of the gut, and the microbiome um, in such areas as how do I learn to listen better to my gut feelings? Are my gut feelings real or am I just imagining those? So once you have finished reading the mind-gut connection, you will have a profoundly different understanding of how the brain, its mind, the gut, and its microbes interact with each other. This will change your behavior in a way that you'll be more mindful of what you eat, when you eat it, and how you eat it. You'll be, become more aware of the harmful things that are contained in a modern North American diet you will become aware of how this, these simple measures um, can get you on a trajectory of optimal health, um, which will benefit in terms of not only the health of your GI tract and your digestion, but also of your brain.